What's going on guys? Um, there's a little bit of confusion about the My PT Hub app where you're going to get your programs delivered for all you distance clients out there and um, eventually we're going to transition into everyone getting on the My PT Hub app uh, but for now we're just going to put this video out there so that anyone in the meantime has the information and anyone eventually will have the information there available. Uh, this app is going to look slightly different to yours because it is the management version However, we can go through the process completely. So up on here, you'll find it down here where you'll be able to actually add information about you. Um, make sure you do that, including your pictures. Um, it's just an easier way for us to sort of manage them all rather than just sending it to me or the page. Uh, if you put it all on here where you can have access to it and we can store it on our shared file, um, no one else will have access to those photos apart from uh, the coaching team and yourself so don't worry about those and also oops, I'm just going to run you through how to sort of track and input your workout so down here we've got this little red plus button now if we go up on here if I just do myself and you'll find that you've got the option to change your workout if we go just legs one, um, if you've got say different three or four different workouts assigned to you, you'll be able to choose from there. Just make sure you do that at the start of your workout before you start inputting any information in, just so that we're not getting the same workout each time. And obviously, if you were just doing the legs the same workout each time, your legs going to get smashed. So just uh, make sure you change it. Uh, also just hit the start button and then it will start the session and then it comes up here this is where the confusion is occurring uh, the weight it doesn't necessarily mean 25 kilos for 18 reps this is just for the first time that you ever use the app this is just the percentage total that we've sort of uh, assigned to you uh, once you've gone through the workout once and we have all your information we can sort of adjust it there accordingly specifically for you so uh, we're in the process of actually changing this into all of them just onto a zero so just find the weight that you're going to be able to do those reps with uh, so for example if we just leave it on 25 for now we can go next set and then again it will give you a different percentage for this one eventually next week on the second week that you use the app this will be specific to you However, if you feel you can do more weight or you need to do less, maybe you're having an off day, make sure you change that just by tapping and go and say if you did 55 for 12 reps, make sure that we know that information, okay? Next step. So obviously you can see that the sets have changed. So we're going up to 80% of the for six reps now, okay? So say for example, my uh, theoretical one rep max on a back squat is 100 kilos. Uh, the 80% of that would obviously be 80, so that's where I'd be staying. But for six reps, I might be a little bit stronger than that, so I might go 82.5. Uh, six reps, hit that, bang. Fourth set of six, change that, hit that, and then it goes on to the next exercise. Once you do that, it's going to change the exercise up at the top. If, for example, you didn't quite know what a goblet squat was, this little eye symbol up on the top left, if you click on there, it'll come up with a video that you can watch and it'll come up with a little YouTube video of Goblet Squat. So that's how that's all gonna work for you. We're gonna stop that there. It's also got a very comprehensive description for you, but if we're ever on hand, then you can just, uh, just come grab one of us and we'll give you a quick demo. <coughs> so, Goblet squat, obviously the weight on this is still the percentage just for this first week. So for example, we might use 75 kilos. Next set, next set, next set, next set. Obviously you wouldn't go through just like that. But here we go, we've got lunges and it just says body weight. Up in the top left, we've got this little note symbol and it's got a red flag next to it. So short strides, two lengths of the cardio walkway. Next set. So if anything's ever got that little tag up in the top left make sure you give it a read because it's got some coaching notes on there specifically for you uh, we go next set next set and it'll give you the next exercise again it's all based on percentages but uh, yeah like I said the second ooh, second week will be very specific 
GHD, body weight, again, next set, next set, next set. Russian twist, say for example you need a little bit longer on the rest time, just change that to 1 minute 30 if you needed that extra little bit. It's just so we know where you're going to fatigue or what have you. And then right at the bottom on the last exercise it will say finish session. We go on that. If you need to add any notes saying uh, good, hit done. If you say oh, a little twinge on my knee on the goblet squats. Uh, then we just might need to go through that in your technical session each month but uh, or in the next session that we work together. Uh, hit that finish workout button and then all that data will get sent to us and then that's where we can really start to amend your program for the next week just to make it super specific for you. But uh, if you ever need to get in contact with us about the app, just give us a shout on the Facebook page and uh, one of us will get back to you ASAP. Like I said before, if we're ever in the gym and you just need that quick little view or spot, just let us know and we'll come help you if we've got that time. But um, any other issues about the app, just let us know. And uh, yeah, have fun with it, have a little play around. If you do mess up, it's not the end of the world. We can just sort it out next time we speak. But yeah, look forward to it. Cheers, bye.